today I'm here with with a new video. Why? I have to come up with something else to say when I start because I was blah, 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 with that. So today I'm here with a new new video, and I'm going to test out my Color Drain Vivid Pigments today. And I don't know what I want to do. I want to use this yellow uh, lemon drop but I was thinking maybe I shouldn't do what I always do but I think I'm going to use lemon drop and then this pink one party drip and I was a little bit eager to use this green one but I don't know how to I can make that fit in so I think I'm going to use this ones and also Maybe this and that one. Because I wanted to only use this palette today. But I maybe should do a purple look. I think I'm maybe going to do separate videos with this and use most of the shadows. So maybe one video I can just only use the blue ones and only the purple ones. So we will see, but I'm gonna start with the colors. Yeah, with these four colors. So it's hard to hold this one. So I'm going to use that one, that one, that, or that one. Oh, I think I'm going to take this, this, and this. So we will. I will start with a base eyeshadow base. I always use an eyeshadow base, so it's just fair to use it. So I will start to prime my eyes. So I will start with this color, it's called Crushin, and I will take it in my crease. I have tried shadows before from Color Drain. Oh my goodness. I have the... Queen of Hearts palettes and I love that palette. It's so pigmented and are so easy to work with and I just love it so I can really recommend that palette and <laughs> we will see. I think I can recommend these shadows as well. They do a really amazing job with the metallics and shimmery shadows. And also with matte. And now I got a text message, I think. So, you can see it's very easy to blend. Because it was just like here at first. But now I have blended it out. And it's a really, really nice color. And it's super <laughs> pigmented. And it's easy, easy, easy to blend. It is a little bit of, of a kick up, but not much at all. And I, this brush, I dip it in like this, and almost every shadow get kick up from that. So it's maybe my fault, not the shadow's fault. This color is, I love it. So this is a really, really good shadow. Now I am taking... I think I will take the... Pink one? I almost said purple one. The pink one in the outer corner of the eye and that is part of drip. And I will take a brush that is clean. Do I have any clean brushes? Yes, I do. So I will just take it with the Real Techniques. The name is not on this anymore. I think it's the base shadow brush. It's their normal flat, a little bit fluffy, but a normal brush. Um, these are really good if you want. Oh, so I will take this pink on the outer corner of my eye. I hope it doesn't blend in too well with my crease shade. I maybe went a little bit overboard with the crease I can see now. 
it's not much lid left. This is also a really, really good shadow. It's very, very pink and it's not hard to work with. It's super pink. I have taken pretty much color on my brush, but it's no fallouts whatsoever. It's nothing because I didn't want to make my base first because I didn't know if there's going to be any fallout, but it's no fallout at all. And that's very good. So now we will take a lemon drop, I think. Yeah, lemon drop. And I will take it in the inner corner. And this brush seems clean. I think it comes off a little bit more bright on the eyelid than it does in the pan and I'm very happy about it because when you look at it, it doesn't look so bright, maybe it looks really bright in the camera, but in real life it doesn't look so bright, but it's very bright on the eye and this is has a little bit of fallout maybe it's due to the brush maybe it's it's not and the shadows are really easy to blend together it doesn't get like a streak like this they are easy to blend together and that's good I really like this and I don't like pink that much but this one I really like i'm thinking about blending it out a little bit more here in the crease next time i don't want to go overboard with the crease shade but that sometimes happens i really like this so now i will fix my face and i will also put the same colors on my eyes so i will take the pink one on the outer corner and the yellow one in the inner corner. So I will fix my foundation and everything so I will be back when I have applied all the other makeup. And I will tell you what I think but I already know. You already know what I think. I already know. I think you already know what I think about these colors. But I will fix the rest of my face and then I will come back. So this is the finished look and I'm really happy with how it turned out I don't wear pink so often I don't like pink that much but this pink shadow I really like and I love the yellow one I want to have it all over so what do I think about this I think you already know I really like these shadows now I only tried three of them but they are super easy to work with and they are super pigmented and are just wonderful. Um, my Queen of Hearts palette from Colored Rain is one of my best palettes I have. So I'm not surprised that I like these colors but I really love them. And I hope you like this video and now I will stop talking because I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah. So I really hope hoped you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!